Passing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde is brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, built for those that demand quality. Butcher's Best by Marcangelo Foods. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anytime. Tie on a Mirror Lure. Ohiro Fishing, conquering the fishing world. Look at the size of this thing. Hi, I'm Henry Waschuk. Welcome to another great episode of Fish in the Flats. Man, oh man, packed with action this week as we start off in Colorado River in Costa Rica for big tarpon. And then we're gonna go for this toothy critter called the houndfish in the Bahamas. Man, oh man, does that fish have teeth. And then finishing off Southwest Florida, gag grouper and big ones too. Stay tuned. The water is so crystal clear. Oh! Nice! Oh Look my Look at the goodness. size of that houndfish. Are you kidding me? Look at him. <laughs> hey, I'm. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I got a big one. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Today we're making grouper pitas with a Greek sauce. Oh, look at that. See that? That is juicy. That is yummy. Coming up, the amazing Silver King. That is a feisty fish. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Baker Hookout Tools. We start off this week's first adventure in Central America on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. The host lodge, Silver King, appropriately named as it is here where the number one game fish is tarpon. These fish are voracious feeders and it's a great place to fish artificial lures. There will be some acrobatics for sure and some great catches too. So sit back and enjoy one of the world's top tarpon hotspots. Gosh, look at those fish rolling. Man, you know what, <laughs> they're feeding, because look at that, way down there, they just exploded. Yeah. It's the most fish we've seen the whole time we've been here. <laughs> well, that we've seen, because we're in clear water now. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Get him here. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Woo! Little guy. All right. Uh oh. We got us a jumper. All right. <laughs> All right. Good job, boy. I tell you. Oh, not a big fish, but I tell you what, these guys are jumpers. What's so nice? And I tell you, I don't know about getting a hook into a big one. Because you know, when you got smaller treble hooks, it's not like using one single hook to get a fish. All right, come on, baby. I think he's going to come up here. Yeah, he is. He's, he's coming, coming up, up right, right, right. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, with these, this many fish rolling, we're going to get another one. I know it. I mean, we haven't seen this concentration of fish in that dirty water and stuff. You know, so. That oh, yeah. water is so crystal clear oh, here. I know. A little bit different from the muddy water we were fishing in earlier. Yeah. Oh, man. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This guy. Oh, look at that. That, that is so cool. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, and yeah. And he sounded. <laughs> yep. Come on, baby. Oh, you're right. The water's so crystal clear. Oh. You can see that, that red and white baker lure hanging out of his yeah. mouth. Here he comes. Come on, baby. Oh, the, oh, 
come on now. All right, that one hook's pulled out. There's, I got a hook in the cheek, it looks like. You got the gaff or? Yeah. Just Can because you right he's here? got a treble hook. That is a feisty fish. <laughs> oh, he's got a, <laughs> he's got a okay. face full of hooks. Can you grab him? You, yeah, gotta, you want me to grab him yeah, with my hands here? Grab him, grab him. Got him. All right. Oh. 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 Let go, let go. Okay. Oh. Look at that. He's <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He saw me and said, nope. <laughs> all right. Look, all right. All right, we'll gaff him. We'll ga okay. All right, perfect. Awesome. Way to go, way to go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, man. All right, you got your pliers? Yeah, I got them right here. We just went in, you see when we're in clear water, we've been just drifting, or now we've got a little bit of discoloration. It's going to, this is where the river's coming out. And these fish are right on the edge feeding. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. All right, see if you can grab it and we'll just revive it. All right. Small fish. Yeah, but pretty. Beautiful. Gorgeous fish. Oh, wow. Those are the ones I like to catch. Look how many jumps. <laughs> Eight jumps on a fish. It's my favorite part right here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, she's ready. Yep, yeah, she's ready. She is ready to go. Oh, <laughs> see ya. Hank's Tip of the Week is brought to you by Cargo Bed. Roll your world inside out. I tell you, there's no question that tarpon fishing is one of probably the most exciting type of fish in salt water you can catch. Big, strong, powerful, no matter where you travel. And in Costa Rica, the water is dirty, even dirtier than what you see in front of the boat here. And I always tell people, you're fishing dirty water, you really want high contrast lure colors. You know, the Baker lure certainly has that. I mean, we had success with the good old red and white but you know, bright colors and dirty water are always the way to go because it's just, you know, helps the fish to see the bait. But these baits are their new saltwater series of jerk baits. And I'm telling you what, they have a great, great action. I mean, they really vibrate back and forth. They really work and bring the fish right to there. And I'll tell you what, the fish eat too. The other thing I tell people about travel, you know, a lot of guys will take their fly rods and so on, but we've created a two-piece great tarpon rod you know, if you look up at our fin shop, I'll tell you, you'll see everything there. But these rods are great. I says, you know, they're all custom made. And if you want your own custom rod, that's what you want to do. I got to tell you, nothing like the Tackle Tech bag, boy, if we keep everything there. But like I said, with leaders for tarpon, I'd at least want to go to two and a half feet. A lot of guys will go to four or five. But for some reason, you know, getting that dirty water, we never have any misses on fish and so on. People ask me, too, do you like to use a loop knot uh, or just tie directly like a clinch knot? And I got to tell you that I have, when I'm using a jerk bait, I like to tie direct because I'm really driving it hard. When I'm making that twitch with my, you know, heavy action rod to get those fish enticed to hit, that's what you want to do. You do those few things, tell you what, these tips will help you catch a good tarpon. Look at this animal. Coming up, yeah. high flying houndfish. 20 pounder. Yeah, definitely a hundred. Oh, look at that. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Wild River, the next generation of tackle bags. Our second adventure this week takes us to the beautiful waters of the Bahamas. Here, Henry and sidekick Billy Clyde will take on the challenge of catching one incredible jumping toothy creature called the houndfish. These fish have major teeth and are considered somewhat dangerous and have been known to attack kayakers with their long snouts. But if you know what you're doing, they're one amazing fish to hook on light tackle. Got one on you. Got oh, here one on comes, you. Here comes, here comes, here oh, comes. Ooh, ooh, Come he on. swirled at it. You got him. No, no. Yeah. Oh, right, there you go. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh. Look at him jumping. Oh, I switched to the light rod just with a jig. At Rockport Rattler and a mirror lure, little John again. Now I've only I'm using just fluorocarbon. Took off the wire. These guys are getting really spooky. <laughs> He's still chilling. I know. And look at these teeth. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
Wait, how many times you want to jump? This is definitely a TV fish. Oh, yeah. Got to get a close up of their teeth, man. Look, they're blue. Even everything's blue about them. Oh, I know that. Look at look look at what he's got. <laughs> he's just thrashing his I head. Know. Okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna land him over here. All right. Come around. Boy, that wind is now hauling. Yeah, it is. Look at this fish. Spooky. <laughs> he's still jumping. I know. Look at that. Now be careful behind the head, Billy. All right. No, right behind the head. Right behind the yeah. Yeah, there you go. Good grip. All right. All right, I got the pliers ready. All right, careful. Okay. <laughs> Things teeth are serious. I don't know. I just, you hold them there, don't. Yep. Okay. I'm clear, I'm good. Look at those teeth. <laughs> they're, they're. But don't get it too close <laughs> to your face, buddy. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. I know. And aggressive, too. You know, they, every, every time you're throwing at them, they're hard to hook because they don't have much for a, a beak there, but. Yeah. You know, the nice thing about it, you're landing fish like this, but you know, you're out here going to a lodge, you end up getting bonefish, barracuda, permit, mutton snapper, and even these guys, you know, they're a lot of fun. Just amazing. All right, let's let them go. All right, let's do it. Thanks for the fun, bud. This week's resort feature is brought to you by the top selling Fish and Guy app. West End Grand Bahama is the ultimate getaway for families, fishing enthusiasts, and couples looking for that perfect out-of-the-way spot and some of the best bone fishing anywhere. Water. Combining Bahamian resort charm and island luxury, Old Bahama Bay is an all-sweet beachfront resort with 67 junior suites as well as a 72-slip port of entry marina. A 4,000-square-foot swimming pool contains an infinity edge and lounging area with massage jets, perfect for overlooking the beach. Situated directly on the beach on the westernmost tip of Grand Bahama Island, the resort is just 55 miles due east from Palm Beach, Florida. Old Bahama Bay has a barefoot, elegant ambiance with an out-island remote feel. Whether it's a family vacation, romance, or a fishing trip with your buddies, this is one resort to put on your bucket list. Look at the color of this flat. The different teals right from the sand coming out. Oh, it's beautiful. Jealous, we need to bring some home to Florida. <laughs> there he is, Henry. Fish oh, on. All right. Oh, a houndfish. Nice. Oh, Look my at the goodness. size of that houndfish. Are you kidding me? Look at him. <laughs> wow. No way. That's a huge houndfish. I come thought on. it was a cuda. It's so up big. Here, come on up here. Wow, this Holy is a cow. huge houndfish. <laughs> Listen to this thing go. He's hopefully hooked good. I hope. Hey, there's another one with him, Henry. There's another big one with him. You want to catch that one too? No, no, we'll just, let's get this guy. Oh! Look at that jump. <laughs> no way. Look at the size oh of this gosh. fish. <laughs> I'll tell you. Okay, Billy, bring him around this way if I can. All right. Clear this rod here a bit. Okay, I gotta be careful. I have never seen anything like this. Ugh. Look at the size Ugh. of that thing. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Look at those teeth. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, I'm. Oh gosh. Did you hear that? Look, he's <laughs> popping his jaws. Oh my goodness. Oh, he thinks he's got me, but he's got my. My pliers. Wow. Now there's a houndfish. Look at, look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> well, I'm going to just hang on to him with two hands because I tell you, <laughs> that is a big one. All right. I'm gonna, let me just grab. Let's look see. at all the blue. Even his teeth are like uh, aqua blue color. Oh, my goodness. All right. There he goes. See you later, Mr. Hound. Coming up. Powerhouse gags. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!
This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Rockport Rattler Jig, the dinner bell for fish. We finish off this week's travel adventures on the west side of Florida for some shallow water grouper. Not far from Longboat Key, we anchor on a spot that should deliver some angling fun. The wintertime cooler waters bring these hard fighting fish into areas as shallow as six feet. Getting these grouper fired up with chum is one thing, but then pulling them out of the structure is something else again. But that's just half the fun, and of course, half the battle. Let's see how the guys do. Get your game face on. I'm ready for the big one. I know I'm... you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that time he came off. Come on back. That's so unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of times, once they commit, they'll do it two, three times for you. What's that? You got him? Yep. Get him, Henry. Get him. Get him. Real. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right. Starting to bite again. All right. Come on. Be a nice one. Be a big girl. No, not bad. It's a little guy. Look at the bait right there. It's crazy. Big old thread fin. That's amazing, though. You know, the size of these fish, that they can fight on really, you know, big sticks. I mean, if you had light rods, probably wouldn't be able to pull them out of the hole. Yeah, you just say forget about it with lighter than lighter than <laughs> what we got. Look Come on, that. open up. Doesn't want to give it back. Come so, on. So that's breakfast, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll let them have it. Yeah. All right, let's go catch your mom. Ready? Yep, there you go. Beauty. See ya. This week's recipe is brought to you by Primo Grills and Smokers, the total culinary experience. Hi, I'm Steve Adams from Fishing the Flats. Today we're making grouper pitas with a Greek sauce. My Primo's nice and hot. We're going to be cooking direct. Let's uh, season the uh, fish with a little bit of uh, perfect uh, seasoning, a little bit of olive oil. We'll just brush that in. Season it a little bit. Just like that. Flip it over and do the other side. I'm also going to do a couple of grilled cherry tomatoes. It won't take too long to grill this. It's all going to go in a pita pocket. More spice. Let's see how that grill's doing. Oh yeah, that's really good. Nice and hot. There's my hot zone. I want some nice, <coughs> excuse me, grill marks on this. Presentation side down is going to be the other side right here. This isn't going to take long at all. On we go. Let's throw the cherry tomatoes on too, right here. And let that go for a minute. Put that down, and we've got some pitas. We're gonna put them on in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna give that a couple of minutes and then we'll flip it. Let's see how the fish is doing. Oh yeah, look at that, that looks really good. I'm just gonna move these cherry tomatoes over to the cooler side here. Just like that. Go flip them like this. New hot spot. Yeah, looks good. That's fresh fish, fresh grouper. That's gonna take a couple of minutes. Okay, I've pulled my cherry tomatoes off. The grouper looks like it's just about done. I'm just gonna pull this off. Wow, that's a nice piece, look at that. That's cooked to perfection. Nice. I'm just gonna let that, that's good and juicy. I'm just gonna let that sit there for a second. Put the pitas on just to warm them up a little bit. Just like that. Oh, about 15 seconds aside. Okay, these are good and puffy. Let's take them off, we'll cut them up. Yeah, look at this. Let's do one for now. I'm gonna cut this open. Nice and steamy on the inside. Should just open right up. What I'm going to do is take a piece of fish like this. 
probably about like that. Oh, look at that. See that? That is juicy. That is yummy. I'm just gonna put the fish in like this on one end. I'm gonna add a couple of sliced onions down the side like this. I'm gonna add a little piece of lettuce down the side. A couple of grilled cherry tomatoes in like this. And then I've got this special Greek sauce. And I'm just gonna put like a little right down the side. I'm actually gonna serve some too because you're gonna wanna dip the, the rest of your pita into it. Look at that, that looks really good. And that's it, grouper pita with the Greek sauce. I'm Steve Adams for Fishing the Flats. Let's do it. Betcha you, you get one. <laughs> I'm sure we'd catch a few if we uh, just kept some baits on the bottom. Just picked up a little pole even and threw out a little or shiner. <laughs> this is so awesome. All right, all right, Billy. Oh, I got a big one. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right. I'm just, oh, I just had a hit. All right. Dog and dog. And look at the size of this fish, Henry. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Henry, okay, Henry, hang on, hang on. Take it. Get, you nice take it easy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, slow down right here. Woo, baby. Oh, he's barely hooked, Henry. Okay, just, I got it. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Seven you talk, miles. You talk about gag grouper. <laughs> that's a big gag. That's a big one, man. That's, well, that's what we're out here for. Check out the other side of his tail. It's like something got a hold of him a little while yeah. ago. That yeah, is a giant. That is. All right. That is what we came out here for, my man. <laughs> All right. Definitely have to have a photo oh, of this absolutely. one. Here, grab the camera there. and. Let's get a photo of this big one. <laughs> what an awesome fish. Tell you what, in shallow water, this is the biggest fish for gag group or ever caught in shallow water. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they, a, they don't get a whole lot bigger than that in 35 foot of water. <laughs> beauty, all right. Let's get him back in. All right. Oh, there he goes. All right, buddy. There he goes. Go Look. make us babies. Go make us babies. Watch your hook there, just look at this. Beautiful fish. All right, ready to revive it. There he goes. Such shallow water, you don't even need a vent tool. Awesome, <laughs> way to go. Closed captioning has been provided to you by The Fin Shop, one-stop shopping for all your fishing needs. Man, oh man, what a show next week as we have some hard-fighting Jack Crevel from Central America. Monster Tarpon from Southwest Florida and Henry's Big Fish Surprise. That's a big quack tip long. Fishing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde was brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, built for those that demand quality. Butcher's Best by Mark Angelo Foods. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anytime. Tie on a mirror lure. Oh, Hero Fishing, conquering the fishing world. Look at this fish.